Hey everybody, Farmhouse here, the Canadian Gamer. And guess what I'm playing? Some Mick Kids. That's right. I actually like this game. Despite what, uh... Despite what the angry video game nerd thinks, and a lot of people, I actually do like this one. And you can play two players. It's kinda neat, if you hit the moon here, you can change to, uh... The dark character or the lighter character. Or let's say black and white. Let's not, uh, beat around the bush here. And I'm gonna go with this guy, because I like his hair. He reminds me of, uh, a dude from Kid and Play. So. Oh, I hit the stupid thing last second. I'm not being racist, trust me. I want to be the black guy. Whatever. Let's just skip through this part and get into the gameplay. Because, uh, this part doesn't really matter. The game is set up very much like Super Mario Bros. 3, if you've never played the game before. Um, except you're, you're collecting these cards rather than just clearing the levels and you need a certain amount of cards to progress to the next world so I only need four cards but I have six levels to find each card and some of the levels even have more than one card so let's just check it out here we go pick up the block here this block fills up the silhouette and then you can jump on I like the music in this game too for an NES game oh criminy <laughs> this is gonna be a long video isn't it Let's do this. Okay. Yeah, for an NES game, it's actually got um, good music. And uh, I would have turned it up, but I'm still trying to adjust the volume in these videos. Die. Um, it's pretty simplistic right now, but it does get pretty hard. Um, if you have watched the uh, Angry Video Game Nerd um, video, um, and most of his complaints come from later levels in the game and which very well may be just because I haven't gotten that far in this game so I might be missing a bunch of stuff but I'm just gonna kinda race through um, some stuff and try to get to uh, try to get to the end these things down here if you do hit them they will send you back to the beginning of the level so you definitely don't want to hit those <sighs> okay here comes my mystery jump of faith There's a free life here if I don't screw it up. Whoa! And here. There we go. Level 1 complete. Card collected. So, depending on. Like, you can have fun with this game. It's not that bad. It really isn't. And I know it's, it's a sellout. It's a McDonald's game for crying out loud. But it's really not that bad. And I think I explained. Whoa! I think I explained in my um, favorite video game uh, video why this game is so special to me or why I like it so much. And it was when I was a kid. Uh, I think I had to have root canal or something. You ever had to have root canal when you're a kid? It's not good times. Especially when you don't know about it going into the dentist office. And all of a sudden out of nowhere it's like, oh yeah, by the way, we're doing root canal on you. And you don't find that out until your mouth is smoking and you can smell your teeth burning and it's just not good times. So anyways, coming out of the dentist office and all being all pissed off and such, my mom was nice enough to take me to the video game store or the video store. <coughs> Excuse me. One second. <coughs> Woo. Very dry. Took me to the video store so I could rent a couple games. And because back then, the NES was still the dominant um, console. Really, there wasn't really anything else. So I rented this because it looked interesting. I wanted something I'd never played before. So I rented this and Flintstones. And Flintstones was just too friggin' hard. But this one had enough going for it that I was able to actually play it and, and somewhat enjoy it. Because I really liked... Super Mario Brothers 3, so this was just like a no-brainer. I mean, it was... If you're gonna rip off a game, you might as well rip off from one of the best, right? Super Mario 3. Here comes another run and jump. Yeah! Ah, a zipper! This is a secret area. Go in! Why can't I go in? Ah, oh, there we go. I thought it was press up, but it's not. It's press one of the buttons. B button, I believe. Or was it A? can't remember now. This is kind of like the secret area in uh, Super Mario 3 where you jump up into the clouds and grab all the coins, except now you're bouncing on... 
Well, I guess they're little trampolines. And this is pretty much it. Uh, I jump from here, and I'm going to hit the thing, and I'm going to fall, and that'll be it. <laughs> now, how do you get over there? There's a one-up over there. How do you get over there? I don't know. I haven't played this game enough to know all the secrets, so if you're watching this and you've like played the game inside out and backwards, no idea why you would do that, but you're probably thinking, Oh, farmhouse, you're missing so much stuff. You're so stupid. I don't care. And that's another level under the belt, and I will definitely remember to have a drink next to me next time I do one of these videos, because I'm starting to get a little bit hoarse. Or pony, if you will. Uh, let's not go there with the corny jokes. Okay. So I'm obviously only showing you a little bit of World 1. <laughs> wow. I'm pretty terrible at this. Um, but it's really not that bad a game. Like... I don't know why it gets picked on so much. I mean, yeah, it's a McDonald's game. But, it is not the worst game in the world. And it's actually quite playable. So, I don't know. I really, I like it. It's It can be, it does get very challenging later. Like, right now, it looks pretty simplistic. But it definitely gets challenging later. And the fact that there are alternate routes that you can take and find puzzles and stuff, um, ouch, is really good. I like that. I like that stuff. I like that if you explore, if you take the road less travel, let's say that, that you can find other things. Like, I, I don't even think I found a card in that level, because I didn't experiment too much. I think there's a bunch of leaves that you can, like, jump on and climb up and stuff. Um, but I didn't do that. <laughs> because I just want to show you some more of the game. But I like that. I like that you have, if you, if you bother to explore a little bit, you can be rewarded by uh, by getting other things. Um, stuff that's hidden, or uh, one-ups, and it's, it's cool. Like going out of your way thinking, oh man, did I just find a glitch in the game? And the next thing you know, there's a one-up. And you're like, oh man, that was hidden. I totally found that. And uh, so it, it reminds me of when I was a kid. And uh, let's use this thing here. This is a big uh, trampoline here that you need a block to weigh yourself down. And to grab this. But I'm not going to use this thing. And there are some parts in the game you can actually go upside down. Um, oh. Oh, wow. Oh, did I ever screw that up? Well, I guess we're not going up there. Um, yeah, there's these uh, almost like little uh, conveyor belts that will flip you around backwards. And all of a sudden, you're now playing the game upside down. And it's a whole new experience and a whole big new challenge. And <laughs> I didn't find anything that one either. Because I didn't bother to take... Basically, if you take the road, the easy path, you'll just finish the level, but you won't find the card. you gotta, you got to kind of branch out there and, and try to find uh, some other stuff. Like, how many cards have I found? Two? Oh, bonus game! All right, nothing wrong with a bonus game. I love bonus games, man. They make a, a, a good game even better. So you want to jump on these white arrows... I used to jump off and back on, but that might take way too long. So let's just uh, let's see what happens here. Oh, 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 oh! Hold on, let's not get excited, Firemass. Yes, I spoke about myself in the third person, and then oh, uh, you know what? Forget it. This is gonna take too long to get up. I can do it, but it's just gonna take too long, and it gives me the option to switch my character. So I will be the brown guy from now on. And that's pretty much it. Like, I know it's an old game, and it's on the NES, but it really, for me, I know it's a stupid, uh, you know, a stupid McDonald's Nintendo game, but uh, it's good. I like it. I was shoot me, okay? I like a game that not a lot of people like. And sometimes it's good to have those guilty pleasures where you like a song or a movie that no one else likes, and you know, when people find out you do like it, it's like, oh, you're a freak. Why do you like that? And it's it's usually because something like you just you grew up you grew up with it or you grew up listening to that song you grew up watching that movie or you grew up cursing at these stupid ass leaves trying to get up to a park it's so high just to find nothing except the bear anyway I'm gonna leave you with that farmhouse media ow the Canadian oh sorry farmhouse the Canadian gamer whatever you want to call it um, cheers I'm gonna die. <laughs>